umetuleta katika nyumba yako asubuhi ya leo umetuleta kwa kusudi baba tunaomba ufundishe neno lako katika kupitia kwa roho yako mtakatifu jina lako litukuzwe kwa yote katika jina la Yesu tunaomba na kuamini amen sasa leo nataka tu tuangalie afimu hadithi moja i don't know in your lifetime kama umekuwa umepata a situation where you are so scared hadi damu unasikia kama damu haitembei ah um, mzee wetu hapa mzee uchoe kingine alivambia bila alivamiwa na na wakora mzee sijui kama saida wali walikufanyia maneno kunisimama hapo ama ulitimua mbio alitimua mbio si ndio sasa tunaenda kujifunza kuhusu mama mmoja katika Biblia ambaye alizipata katika shida shida kubwa alikuwa kwa situation of life and death mama huyu tunaenda ku, kumuona katika kitabu cha Yohana nane tukianzia mstari wa pili Yohana nane mstari wa pili tuanzie hapo ili tuweze kuona mama huyu ni hadithi ambayo tunaifahamu vizuri na tunaijua na tumeisikia kwa muda mrefu lakini leo nataka tu tuone tuisome tena kwa sababu neno la Mungu hakuna kitu shipia ni yale yale tu ambao tunajua lakini tunajikumbusha kwa hivyo tufike katika kitabu hicho cha Yohana tis la nane mstari wa pili kama kuna mtu amefika pale tafadhali atusomee Yohana nane mstari wa pili hakuna uh, mtu leo anajua kusoma Yes, the but early in the morning he came into the temple and all the people came to him and he sat down and taught them the letters Christ and Francis brought it to him a woman caught in another tree and when they had set her in the midst they said to him teacher this woman was caught in another tree in the very act nataka uachie kwa msomaji asante the bible tells us that at dawn asubuhi Jesus alienda katika temple Katika temple kuna ni neno ambalo linatumika hapo that he appeared again in the temple that means Yesu ilikuwa ni mazoea yake kuenda katika nini katika temple because the Bible says that he appeared again so when someone says he appeared again that means he had been there before and he appeared again when he appeared again people all the people the bible says i don't know what your version says the bible says all the people gathered around him and they sat down to teach them watu waliketi walizimira kama wameketi na alianza kuwafundisha Sijui kama tukisema alianza kuwafundisha I don't know what comes into your mind What do you think Jesus was teaching these people Mnafikiria Jesus alikuwa ana anafundisha nini Alikuwa anawafundisha kitu kitu no Ah kwa anawafundisha hivyo He was teaching them these people about the love of God. Amen. Amen. So early in the morning, imagine what time do you come to the temple yourself? Early in the morning? Yes. 11 o'clock is early in the morning. It's 9 o'clock. Paul, Paul, Paul comes, but he comes from another county. He comes at 11 but you can excuse me. But those who live around here, what time do we come? Early in the morning? Our superintendent says and I love what she says that 
Jesus comes around in the morning when you are here for Sabbath school. He gives us the blessings. And now when you are coming for divine hour, you don't get much. Because the roll call had been taken in the morning. In the morning. Because you know, Jesus taught in the morning. At dawn. My version says at dawn. At dawn, Mr. Ida will have found a guy who came to town. He said, of course. That you will find out of a pen of five that he will have done, done as a boy. So when he was teaching the people, the Bible was saying all the people want to alikuja. That's a way we do it. And that's what I should do. That's a want to alikuja. What the Bible in the same way the Bible was saying. The teachers of the law and the Pharisees. Who do you think is our teacher of the law? In here, the Pharisees, they are not, it's not a bad name, by the way. Teacher, teacher of the law is not a bad name. In the first class, teacher, my dear, that's it. See, and that is finished. He's our teacher. See, dear. So, that's a Pharisee. See, you come and say, well, you're here. See, you're on two of our DNA. Now, 
ukiendelea katika hadithi hii hadithi hii ni hadithi ambayo tunaijua vizuri the bible is telling us that this woman was supposed to die but she was not supposed to die alone Get something. Amen. So now I was 
saying, Jesus was within two laws, between two laws. The word was side law that said that if someone was caught, they were supposed to be stoned, the two of them. And there was the Roman law. The Jews were under the Roman law this time. Roman law in the same Mutu. When you were stoned without being taken before the judge, the judge, as a baby, who is Mutu, Akuna Makosa, Sasa Lazima, Akubiwe. Kulikuwa na Sharia Gapi? Bibi. So Jesus being God, and knowing what their intention was. He was very much aware of the laws, of the two laws. But he, being God, he knew the intentions of these people. He even knew that they were not very good people. So therefore, when this woman was brought before him, the Bible says that uh, but Jesus bent down and started right on the ground with his finger. Yes, he had one. Yani, mtu wa majabu. Ali inama jini chini, akafa kuandika na nini, na gitone. When they insisted, you know now, here, mze, mayeka, siya jyo, tunuweka mpana wa teach of the law. Unajua kila na hisa insist. Them. 
whichever one of you has no sin may draw the first sin at her. Very good. I was looking for that. I was looking at the first one. So, whoever, whichever has no sin, let him throw the first what? Stone. The first stone. Kibiomana. Kibiomana, did it? Kibiomana. Hiya. Sasa, hii ni mabogani tenda yesu anasema. Inasema, mutu anisome, in the King James Version, number 9. Number 9. Chapter 8, verse 9. 8, verse 9? Yes. Bible says, And they which had it, being convicted by their own conscience, went out one by one, beginning at the eldest, even unto the last. And even, so much, then, so much, then, the Bible says, huh? And they which had it, being convicted by their own conscience, went out one by one, beginning at the eldest, even at the last. And Jesus was left alone, and the woman standing in the midst. Yes. When they had this, and being convicted by their own conscience, left one by one, starting with the eldest. You know, Mzee Zaid. We are not a Kutoroka. Wakatoroka what? From the eldest to the youngest. Now, you know there has been so much debate about what Jesus was writing down with his finger. Now, the Bibliya is saying it is Uzuri. Nibili Yesu kweli alikuwa naandika huko chini. Alikuwa wewe unafikiri alikuwa anaandika nini? Alikuwa anaandika wapi? Zambi. Alikuwa anaandika nini kabisa? Aye, wale walimu wa sheria. Tisha za mbelo mzee. Tisha mbelo. Unajua tumepatia hiyo title na ina mpaka kabisa. What do you think Jesus wrote down when he wrote with his finger? The profile of each person. And the same the profile of each person. And your scholars, Sana Sana Wanasema. Like if you hear the same year, Jesus was the same, but like if scholars want to agree, Yakomba, he was writing the prophet, Dambi, Yakila Nadi, Kila Mutu. Sasa, Mze, Mze Oki, you're going to read the Like if you see it, for example, so, Akiagalia Hivi, Anana Yake, Anasema Magronga, Nanti Lucia. Sidio. Mse Kadepe, akiona yake. Kwa sababu tujamio walienda from the oldest to the youngest. Akiangalia hivi, Yesu anajua ameandika ile ya na yeye anatoa magorongano kwenda hivi. Yaani miguu ni pende. Kuna ile wa kisi wanasema miguu ni pende. Miguu ni pende yaani natikua mbio kabisa inaenda. Watu wasije kuona vitu zake, si ndio? Hata wakiona hiyo hiyo aibu, isifanye hivi, isikufikie. Sasa Paulo wakaangalia hapo Muria na kina na fortune ni ya kukuwa na mama. Kwa mama alo, yes. imagine atukua hapo. Kwa mama atukua hapo sisi. Tulikuwa tu wakubwa wa dini, wa dini, wa dini wazee ndo no, waliangalia dhambi zao wakatoroka wakafanya nini wakaacha Yesu na ile mwanamke pale sasa nataka kuenda mahali tulikuwa tunataka kuenda leo at this they were convicted when you are convicted you are saying hey, he kweli hiki kwa miandika hii ni kweli 
nilikuwa pale nilikuwa pale kuna maana nini unachomoka unachomoka walichomoka wote again Jesus strengthened up and asked the woman where are they has no one condemned you no one sir she said then that is our topic today amen, amen. then Jesus said neither do I condemn you amen, amen. Jesus declared go now and sin no more amen wakati wajenda wote when the accusers just ran and left Jesus and the woman alone Jesus stood up and asked, Where are your accusers? Wale walikuwa wanamchapa tete wakimleta. Wako wapi? Mwanamke akasema, There is no one. Alafu Yesu akasema, Ni ngana ni mwangu. Ni ngana ni mwangu. Ni ngana ni mwangu kwa kisi tunasema aje? The boy was. The black the black one yani sio black unajua black is was just the devil but the black one yani ni ngana ni mwamu Yesu akasema ni ngana ni mwamu hapo ni ngana ni mwamu unajua yani akasema lile jambo zito na ambalo ni kwalo alikuja katika ulimwengu amen ni imani ni nini ni imani ni mwamu the major the major word na the reason why he he said it this way he said it this way neither do i condemn you go and see no more so our topic today was neither do i condemn thee sasa unajua i ask by saying kuna mtu mwanamke huyu unamfikiria unajua she was so scared because she knew the lord she knew today was her last day on earth alikuwa tu anajua Yesu akiamka hivi atasema mawe mara moja she was very much aware of it no she was just waiting to die and i asked by saying some of us here have gone through very scary situations situations that this woman was in yani situation hii unaona aki leo tu kisimu ya nini mzee wetu uichoe aliwekewa ngeta hapa inaitwa ngeta yes hiyo hiyo mzee si uliona kama ilikuwa siku yako ya mwisho kuna wengi hapa wameenda through similar situations na kama hujaenda hiyo through that that god because it is not easy it is not easy this woman knew she was die that very day You know I've had a very scary time myself. Kumwaja 16 impact on 16 of last month. Tuliambiwa na kampuni twende huko naitwa Mumbai. Tu tuchukue tu, tu, madeni wa hili wamekataa kulipa. So tukaenda wa mama watatu. Mimi na wakaa wengine ndio wasichana. So tukapanda ndege ndege Kenya Airways tarehe kumi na sita last month nilikuwa hapa saba jioni nikatoka sasa unajua huko kwa ndege kumbe huku mbele ya kiti ya mtu amekaa huko mbele kuna kitu nyuma ya hiyo kiti hiyo ukifanya tu pata mchi inakuletea inakuambia do you want a movie do you want music do you want to know how your flight is going your flight mimi kasema my flight 
Sasa ikasema my client. Sasa your client itakuonyesha mahali root vile ni root. Sijua mzee. Mzee. Mzee kinyi anajua hiyo. Inakuonyesha root. Sasa kuangalia root inakuonyesha hiyo ndege iko juu ya ocean huko juu ya ocean hii ya ocean hii hapo kajiuliza ah watu mbona wako weka ndege hii barabara ikuwe kwa mchanga mbona wanaiweka kwa maji barabara ya ndege iko kwa maji nimeenda hii ya siku mbili sio hiyo ya kwanza mara yangu ya kwanza lakini siaje angalia hiyo root ndio inaenda kumbe ni juu ya maji sasa tukaenda tukaenda kweli mimi mungu mimi sijui kwa sababu sijui kuweka hizi vitu kwa masikio so mi hiyo flight tu ni kidala kidogo na tunya hapo flight naona tu tuko kwa maji naenda sasa kitambo kidogo tu nikasikia hai yani tuka tuka mimi tuka share Take your seats. Sasa ndege ikaanza kuenda. Inaenda ni kama inaanguka tu. Sijali inaenda chini kama inaanguka. Tukaenda hivi kama inaanguka kama. Sasa mimi nikashiria sasa kiki. Unajua? Wewe kuna kuna hii kiki iko hapa nyuma yako. Ile iko na bells. Nikashikilia hapo, nikashikilia hapo. Na watu wengi tu wakashikilia. Yaani Ah, kama unaona bicho inaenda tu hivi. Leo mjukuu yangu huyu mtawacha wangu. Hiyo ndio ilikuwa swali yangu ya kwanza. Sasa ile mtawacha wangu shwari. Nikaomba tu Mungu. Kama ni leo, tafadhali nikumbuke. Ndege ilienda hivi, wima zikienda hivi kabisa kabisa yani unaona kama una fight for like 20 minutes. Yaani damu haijawahi simama. Okay, nimeenda through crucibles. But hiyo ilinigandisha damu. Tulikuwa tumekula, hii chakula tunapewa hapa. Lakini ilisha kwa tumu. Tukifika hivi in about in about 30 minutes we landed in Mumbai. Unajua unatoka tu kwa ocean unaingia Mumbai. Sasa nikauliza hao mama wa kamba. Nini mmesikiaje hiyo kitu? Ha, akasema ha, hiyo siwezi changanya wewe. Unajua vile wa kamba wako optimistic. Unajua mkamba akisema hiyo kitu ni mbaya ni mbaya. Yaani wako very optimistic. Ndio maana ukienda kwao kuuliza machako sio. No. Tuliambo. Tulienda sikimina arusi ya Felix. Tuliambiwa no ha? No ha? No ha mpaka tukasikia kujia machozi. Hao wakamba they are very optimistic. Nikawauliza hiyo hiyo kitu ilikuwa ni namna gani? Nikasema haki hiyo ilikuwa mbaya, mbaya kabisa. Mbaya ni wakamba. Mbaya, mbaya. Wakasema nikajua ilikuwa mbaya. Mbaya sasa. Ili simamisha damu iliganda kabisa yani sasa hivi unakutana chini hivi unasikia kama mwili mbaya nini umeganda hizi sio rahisi sio gari ya kuanguka hapa Mumbai hapo ukiangalia unasikia we are at 38000 feet about seven na vitu zinakongana hivi na kongana hivi hata wewe ukiwa nani hata wale wakiwa kwa fast class unajua ndege itakuwa na fast class wao mkiingia wao ndio wanaingia kwanza eh mkiingia mnapata wana wanasoma mbeli eh nyinyi mnakangana hii huku na masanduku yenu wao wanasoma tu mbeli 
wanaletewa vitu vile wanataka anachangua imagine now wakati ndege ilikuwa inafanya hivyo kila mtu hata yule wa first class alikuwa ha alikuwa tuna studi stuka it was a very scary experience so what i was saying unajua najiwanga kwa mjana hii i can get close what i was saying this woman was in this situation she was so scared but this jesus this jesus in fact scholars wanasema when he delivered he delivered this woman it it did take him a lot of time before he was crucified this jesus this jesus who was teaching the multitude about the love of jesus it was very difficult for him to condemn this woman because he had been teaching people that god is love you cannot go through to god but through we how they are now can i condemn this woman na mimi ndio nimekuwa nikifunza juu ya nini ya upendo and jesus knew very well that he was almost being crucified and he was being crucified for such unajua hii bibilia ilituambia and when the Pharisees and the teachers of the law brought this woman they said such should do what should be ah mbona hiyo mbona hiyo mbona hiyo they said that such such people should do what should be stoned to death but Jesus knew back in his mind that he was about to die for such people amen, amen. such a this woman when she had Jesus say neither do I condemn you go and see no more what do you think was in the heart of this woman she experienced love for the first time in her life because in aizakana hata yule mtu alikuwa wanazidi naye alikuwa kwa hii group unaona hivyo inaizakana kwa sababu you know when they caught her when they were bringing her before Christ she was resisting inaizakana scholars wanasema inaizakana alikuwa anaangalia hivi anamuuliza yeye sasa hata wewe ona hata wewe unanipeleka huko na nilikuwa na wewe juzi si ndio she resisted because she knew of true love akajua kuna upendo ya watu wote including this man including this man ilikuwa ya bure ilikuwa bure she experienced love for the first time she must have been so excited kwa mimi i need to condemn you go go sasa umeangalia hivi sijeni hivi sijeni shoka eh umeangalia shoka juu ya kichwa alafu mtu mwingine anatoka akwambia neither are you going to die please rise up and go this woman experienced the love of god for the first time in her life she knew that human beings are fake wanadamu ni fake people because hao walikuwa wanamleta wewe ikawa kulikuwa na marafiki wake huko wewe si unaona hiyo picha unaona kama kulikuwa na marafiki yako marafiki wake kwa hiyo biashara lakini unajua kama hii kuna tunapiga juice 
kulikuwa na watu wengi wanakuja kwa hiyo mikutano niliona niliona hapo watu mbona sasa hamsemi eh niliona hao watu walikuwa wanakuja kwa hiyo mikutano baba kienda kasarani huyo anamikuta watu eh baba hii ile ikienda anaitoka baba na lakini ilikuja kumpiga kula ilikuwaje hata wale walio wanaenda huko hata nai sasa hivi basi hata wana kula hawana kula vijana wetu hapo sijui ndio mko mnaenda huko na hakuna kula hata unaweza kujiridhisha hivi chini ya mchanga unasema ni baba si ndio lakini ni fair hiyo ndio iko na upendo wa nani kwa watu kwa binadamu there is no true friend a human being is human being there is no true friend in fact what i want to what i need to do ukijua ile rafiki yako anasema behind your back unaweza stuka unaweza stuka sana huyo anasema ni bie wao bie bie and best friend for forever for life for life for forever that best friend forever what he or she speaks behind your back ukijua utashangaa sana there is no true human love the only true love comes from Jesus. if there was true love this lady at least ungekuwa na mwana mume mmoja anasema aki aki msaidie please forgive her but there was none it teaches that guys we should clean the this man whose love is true it should be our b f f amen amen jesus should be our b f f see you don't make up a profile picture <laughs> you don't make up a profile picture wacha niwaulize kwa mama unasiaga kwa mama kwanza hao wadogo wadogo unaweza kufikiria best friend yako anaweza kuchukua mzee yako Na huyo ni best friend for her. Hiyo for her ni ndio. Inaenda wapi? There is no true human friend. I'm not saying you don't have friends. But ujue tu the best true friend ni nani? He is the one who saved this woman. He say nay that do I condemn you go and see no more since then many other come I've been on the phone sasa tumejifunza juu ya hii hadithi hadithi ya mwanamke ningependa tu kusema kama vile nasemwa watoto wanajiuliza what does the soul teach us si ndio yeye alikuwa anauliza even though he was a bit sense by the way forgive him because this is his first time to stand in front of people forgive him and i know there are human beings who is older that he who can not hold this mind si ndio yes so you want to tell us kidogo una forgive si ndio he will get there hata wewe who is human being all the time who can't hold it if you try you can amen inawezekana sio ile ya baba lakini kwa nyumba ya baba inawezekana amen amen sio hiyo sio ile ya nani inawezekana kwa Mungu amen inawezekana ya kwamba he who is shaking when god in a mic one time god will use him as a vessel amen Yes. 
Sasa watoto wanajiuliza at what does the school teach us? You know this story. We were having over and over and over and over. You know, like those who started going to church early, like in Mzoki and Tomiapa, Alianza Kitango and Kalisa. And they skia here, and they skia, and they skia, and they skia. Like he, he's not a kind of visa, kind of a total. Una kiria here, and the Bible tells us that anything that is written in the Bible is written to correct. In a puja, you are fools of, you come from a fools of way to, if you to a mungu, as mama bizuri, and fresh and ali, mungu. So any story that is in the Bible, well, it doesn't matter how many times you had it. As I said, ni kutikumbusha mara kwa mara. Sasa, he had it to me soma, to me soma, to kajua. Jesus, akisema, the first one who knows is not sinful, let him throw the first stone. Wakatoka wote. Neno hine la black, li gana dibe li mwami. Nia kwamba, Jesus said, Neither do I condemn you. Go and see no more. That is the two words that we are picking from this story. Now, wakati Yesu alikuwa pale, akiangalia hui mwana muke, Jesus, by the way, kwa mibiliya yote, ukiangalia, he didn't condemn anyone. Not even his enemies. He never condemned anyone. He only cast the big tree. Senor, and even that casting, I know it is something, it is a lesson for us to learn something. But he didn't condemn anyone. In any case, he was so passionate. For such, I'm going to die. For such, I'm going to be crucified. Why should I allow her to be stoned? In any case, Jesus is the only man that time in that environment who was not sinful. But I'm not even. Yes, you too. Yes, you too. Such people should be stoned to death. I should then throw the first stone because I'm sinless. Yes, I'm going to damn me. I'm going to damn you. See, you know, I know But he knew that he was almost going to the cross to die for such people. He was teaching about the love of God. How would he then allow this woman to be stoned? So we are saying, Jesus is business. We are sharing Yesu. Ha kuja. Kukondemi sasa ni hiliki kwa kwa hili. Kukumu. Ha kukuja kukumu wanadamu. Badi alikuja kufanya nini? the world, but that the world through him may be saved. 
Sasa kama mungu yuko hapa mungu For God sent his son into the world. For God sent not his son into the world. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world. To condemn the world. But that the world through him. But that the world through him might be saved. Can be saved. Amen. Amen. That is the business of Jesus. The business of Jesus is not to condemn, but to say, see you in the sermon. In the sermon. So then, this Jesus, who has been passionate from creation, you know, even from creation, Jesus has been passionate. Amen? Amen. And that is why when Adam and Eve were running into a bush, he's asking, Where are you? And Sasa says to me, Jivisha, Mume Jivisha kwa nini? And to me on a i. Mume on a i kwa nini? To go uchi. Nani ame wabia mko uchi? Then, Yesu akaleta gozi. By the way, he has been passionate from creation. Amen? That is why when Adam and Eve sinned, he came to look for them. He's asking, Adam, where are you? Where are you? He knew what they had done. But he was so passionate because he didn't want humanity to perish. That is why he came to ask Adam, where are you? The rest you know the history, Genesis 3. When he wanted to, to do away with Sodom and Gomorrah, he engaged Abraham in a conversation. He said, If you want to do what I'm seeing me, I'm seeing me, and I'm here, Abraham. That is a very passionate father. Amen? Amen? That is his business. That is our Jesus' business. Our Jesus' business, my Jesus, is not to condemn, but to, to save. Amen? Amen? And when he sent John to Nineveh, you know what happened. We know this story. Unajua bide, yo Jonah, alikuwa alalamika. Akasema, I knew you are so passionate. Ukisoma katika kitabu ya Jonah 4, imeandikwa hivyo, kisoma hiyo historia hivyo hako, Jonah 4. I knew you. That is why I went to Tarshish. Because I knew, I know you. You are passionate. You are merciful. You are long suffering. You are slow to anger. I knew even if I went to Nineveh and told them of their sins, they would confess and you would forgive them because I know you are a passionate God. Namuwa Namulisa. Nasasa. Hapa katika Nineveh. Kuna watu, 100, is it 120,000 people, plus animals, ulikuwa, unataka ni wadi? We are saying, God is so passionate. Wacha kwa angalia matokea kwa sinu, matokea wa ito kisari leo. So, our God is so passionate. His business is not to, de to destroy. He comes to 
to believe her and to save her. And to save you and me. Amen? Amen. He saved this woman. He saved the people of Nineveh. Imagine. Imagine we are going to do a way on the job. He saved even the thief on the cross. You the easy and go here. Father, please. Unikumbuke. Leo tu. Unajua hui mwizi ya kwa kameenda kanisa Alikuwa kuwa hako kwa msalaba Alikuwa nasikia Jesus Lakini ya never be to chant Ya never be to end with them Lakini ya likuwa tu hako Akasema Jesus please remember me And it is recorded in the Bible That Jesus remember me So Tunajifuza ni Aki Niki munaona hile na hama kwewe? Yes. You know, Jesus alipu kwa hivi ya shara kiko nari ya wapa. Hivi ya shara, unajua hata saa hivi kutamutu wa nasendo. Unaona vila wali ingia. Hila mtoto, hali kuwa pari. Hila wakusema chifu ya story, hali kuwa pari kushu. Kwa hila anasoma, nipilia, hali kuwa kukatikati. Nani? Na hila ya kutuwa maumi, na hila wa sataka. Ali kuwa pana mwisho, ali kuwa hapa nini mwenzee. Teachers of love. Teachers of love. Yani, wewe ya unakuja, unakua kuda mwibwa ulani, kukua tuwewa kitamu. Nini kwa kwa? Kwe miwa za kwa kwa yesu, kwa sababu, pali imani. Kwe gine wa kita kani, Thank you. Unajua kuna mtu wa mwibuja hapa kutawusa msicha? Sidi, sidi baya. Lakini utawusa msicha na pia ukipane nini, ukipata hii. Manene. Kuna mwingina mwibuja kwa sababu la kodango mpia. Unajua kukikuwa na lockdown sana sana kwa mama kukiba sana. Tukua na mbo mungi, tukua kumemua, atu kubwa sana. Na sasa hakuna maali, tunaenda na iyo. Lazima kukuja wapi? Kusitua na lima. Sidiyo? Mungina aleta sadaka tu, sidi baya. Lakini leta, na usire le? Na mungina na kuja, nyo. Na jua, kuna kwa mungina uo kwezi. Nilienda nikamuliza, he. Mami, mami, kuleta kanisa, kalimia, niliyona, niliyona masaka ingine, nitapata, huyo mama alizikuwa vizuri, kama shuja. Sasa mimi nikasama pia, nikie kwa kanisa, sikuila nitakufa, nisipe kama? So, amekuja, sikuila ingine alizikuwe kama? Unajua tunajijua The good thing Is a reply Bila huko hini Unajijua Vizuri sana Hakuna mtu alajijui Kila mtu alafana hini Unajua Unajua the Bible says Yani roo ya mtu ni mungu sana kujua Ni mungu tu alajijua Wae na mungu yako na saikani Ndi alajua wae So, unajua ni kwa nini na kuji hapa? Lakini, my friends, don't come to be like the teacher of the law. Sio mze maliekan. Now, the teacher of the law in the Bible. Don't come to be like the Pharisee. Because the Bible was telling us, Jesus was telling, was teaching all the people, but there were people who had other businesses. Kuna mtu wanakuja kwa kanisa, hakuwe tu in the environment. 
Yaani kwa mazingira haya kanisa. Hapo tu anaonekana tu hapa. Kuna watu kama hao. Si ndio? Kuna mtu kama yule mama aliniambia yake anataka kuzikwa vizuri. Kama shujaa na kanisa. Kuna mwingine amekuja kuzikwa kama shujaa. Ama kuna mwingine amekuja pia kuna kuna jua siku hizi tuko na ile wewe ukipata shida utasajiwa na kanisa. So tumekuja kwa kanisa kwa sababu mbali mbali na kanisa ilikuwa kama hospitali. Yaani tukifunuliwa mawazo yetu vichwa zetu sisi wote hivi. Unajua Mungu ataweza shangaa sana. Hata wewe unajua hiyo unafikia sasa hivi. Na mwingine anafikiria kijini, na mwingine anafikiria kijini, na mwingine anafikiria kijini. Hata Mungu akituangalia anashangaa sana. Anashangaa sana kwa sababu anatujua kwa sababu ni Mungu wetu. My prayer is tusiwe kama wale wale wana 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 simama pale kwa mlango kuzuia wengine kuingia. Tafadhali tukuje tukiwa na lengo moja ya kumtafuta huyu Yesu. Kwa sababu business yake yeye ayuko kwa hiyo yako huko. Business ya Yesu sio hiyo yako sio hiyo. Unajua hmm. kuna mzee hapa anasema, "Eh, hey, hii ni jua fasta hivi. Huh? Huyu fasta ndio anaona kama ameanguka sana sana. Sana sana. Imagine sasa hivi hata hii kali alikuwa amekujua. Eh. Tunaenda mbali, tunaenda kuona hii mandasi. Acha na nasi. Eh? Kama hii kifo alikuwa amefanya hii na hii. Kwanza uweke hapo. Utashtuka sana. Utashtuka. Mzee sio. Kwa wale wamekuwa fast traders wanajua, wanajua hiyo maneno. Sisi tunawajaji tu, tunawajaji tu. Ah, mzee, mzee. Ah, afanye, afanye. Ana kwa mshot na hii na hii. Uweke hapo. Ndio utajua. Lakini ole wako kama wewe ni mzee unakuja kuchunguza mzee mwingine na kumkata miguu kwa sababu hiyo business si ya Yesu wetu business kwa Yesu wetu ni yule anasema huyu ni fasta ni mtu tu ni mwanadamu tu ni kiumbe dhaifu tu mtamtumia kueleza na kufanya kazi yangu katika kanisa hili mawazo yetu na mawazo ya Kristo Biblia inasema ni kama kutoka hapa mpaka mbinguni nani ameenda mbinguni ah unjue hiyo distance ile ndege tunapandaka inaendaka ikienda sana iko 40000 feet 40000 feet ndio msikio 40000 feet about sea level hiyo ndio inaenda juu zaidi sasa hiyo hiyo distance ya kutoka hapa na 40000 hata unjuezi Biblia inasema mawazo yako yetu na ya Yesu ni tofauti is like the distance between earth and heaven nani anajua hiyo distance so usijali usijali ati mwako anapongea vibaya huyu anapongea vibaya mawazo yake na mawazo ya Yesu ni kama kutoka hapa mpaka wapi bila anakufikiria sio karibu sio katiki zinati close to what Jesus is thinking about you. amen yeah. the business of our Jesus is to deliver us it is to, is to save us all of us that is why he saved this woman that is why he saved the man that is why the plan of salvation is coming that is why he died on the cross he did die for those who are righteous he died for sinners like you and me so mzee tukipongea vibaya wewe unalia kwa sababu mawazo yetu ni hakuna is is different from what god is thinking about it is different 
Unajua wewe hapa tunaweza kuwa hapa. Pengine labda anasema ho, hii ni mwenye dhambi sana. You are not a sinner. Let me tell you. Atuta perish because we are sinners. Tuta perish too because of refusing to come to the love of Jesus. He says, come. Wewe, kuja. Come. Into. Who is heavy leader? And I will give you what? Yes. See what you understand? Come and give you a rest. That is what he says. So, I took a perish for some of the people who are living in the dandy. Where are you in the dandy? Let me make a cup of puja. He comes. He says in Isaiah 1 18, Come, let's reason together. Imagine Sasa to send the president of the Nihilator. Who? I can hear him. Joe. Joe to send his army. Now, Sasa, where are you? This is to go up at the old. Imagine I'm going to be a Joe. After we all see a new one. Amen. And for me, Joe, 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 to to serve that name. If you go and have this happen, you need to be careful. That the ocean is sufficient. You are happy. Come and deluge. Amen. Amen. So this is the truth that I tell. We can't go and move. We go. We can't go and come and see. We go. Business is a move. We come and see. We na kutuosha this is water. The Bible says. When a sinner turns off his ways, heaven rejoices. Amen? So the business of our Jesus is not to condemn, but to save. Amen? Amen. Please. To to itikie. To itikie kumuito. Kumuito, ambayo ya tuambia kujeni. Kujeni tufaya nini? Tusemezane. Tusemezane. Kwa sabu pia shara yangu, ni kuwafaya nini? So, Mungu wetu atusaidie. Mungu wetu atusaidie. Amen. Tukumbuke ya kwamba Mungu business yake kukutukomboa. Tusaidie tubarikiwe kila mmoja wetu usijione mwenye dhambi kuja. Mungu anasema kuja tusemezane. Mungu wetu atubariki. Amen.